All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Banishers. Now, yesterday, guys, we started this game, and um, I have been just absolutely loving this game. Um, it was a lot more than I expected. Uh, it started off a bit slow, not really knowing what kind of game it was going to be, and then, you know, it kind of opened up a little bit, and we're not even, like, we haven't even fully, like, gotten really into it. We're just the tutorial was pretty long or the prologue i guess you could say uh but the game really did open up quite a bit uh we started realizing that there's these little hauntings that you do that allow you like to make different choices you, people live or die or you know you can and it's it, it's actually pretty cool you know to have those little story nugs a lot of dialogue i know some people don't really like that they get bored with games that are really really cutscene or dialogue heavy i'm personally that's my preferred games i love like I, I could watch, you know, those games that are like movies and, and I just, I love it. You know what I mean? Cause it's like an interactive movie for me almost. And I have a lot of fun with that. I could see how some people don't, um, but there is a fair bit of combat, especially now that we're kind of getting into the game a little bit more. We are playing. It, it, I would compare this to like the way the game plays is it's a lot, a lot like a, like a God of war. You know what I mean? But a little more story heavy than God of War. Um, not in gameplay sense, but just like the flow of the game, the style of game. I would compare it to that. But yeah, I've been absolutely loving this. I wanted to jump in, do another episode. It seemed like you guys really enjoyed the first one. So remember, if you guys want more Banishers, smash that like button. Um, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And yeah, let's get into this, guys. Uh, we have a lot of hauntings to do in this town that we just showed up in. Daniel with the 17 months. Thank you so much. I'm doing good. Doing good. All right. Mav, how you doing, Priscilla? That's good to see you. I appreciate y'all of you guys coming to hang out tonight. All right. Okay, so yeah, we got to prove ourselves um, by helping out people around the village here. This is our little house that they let me stay in. Okay, we already checked that. Right, let's go make ourselves useful. Yes. If the nightmare is at work here, they'll need us. Damn, so that nightmare is super powerful to be casting her freaking influence and power across the whole damn country, pretty much. Out here putting in. Her power is unbelievable, man. All right, so I'm going to upgrade this real quick. Um... Can I not upgrade it? Okay, so I can only upgrade at shelter. Let me go see if we can upgrade this wristband real quick. I want to make sure we're fully kitted before we head out. Um, Ephraimids, thank you so much for the six months. I'm doing good. Doing good. Uh, my thoughts on Death Stranding 2. Sorry, I still have not watched the trailer. <laughs> yeah, I haven't watched the trailer yet. Uh, but I I am excited for the game. Uh, Death Stranding's in my top five like favorite games of all time. It was so good. Okay, I do got a skill point, too, that I can invest. Mm, parry restores 15. I think we're going to go with... Um, Swift so Banish. Banish points are gained... Uh, banish voice gains are increased by 20%. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hold on. But Banish damage is reduced by 20%. Ah... Uh, Banish more, but hit. No, no, we'll go with this. We'll go with this. Uh, my banish is super nice. I, it hits hard. Yeah, uh, somebody said something about getting the rifle. That's, uh, I think, probably what we're going to be working towards in this village because this is a village of hunters. Okay, so let me check the map here. We have the haunting case here. So we'll start with this one right to our left. I'm so excited to get into these haunting cases. Now, granted, we will kill Forge. some... Kate said the blacksmith may need help. We will kill people if we need to, chat. But I'm not going to go out of my way to do it, though. These nails look brittle. Okay. 
Our houses are falling down. We need them nailed. We need them nails to build with. Deliver soon as if will. No shit like the last lot. You're supposed to be good at your work. Okay, so they need nails to rebuild and... She did say his work has been slacking. He's not been doing a good job like usual. Voices from the past. What is it? Salt water. It's pulsing. There's something here. Aries with the huge super chats. Thank you so much for playing this right now, but behind you, don't want to spoil myself. I'm passing on the stream, but I wanted to uh, drop some love because you're awesome. Also, Jacob was taste. Damn, Aries, though, that's savage, bro. Thank you so much for the love. I hope you enjoy it, man. All right, let's see what's going on here. Mine, all oh mine. Mine, all oh mine. Mine, all oh mine. That ghost sounds Evening, nasty. Brian. Playing that this right now, but obsessed. behind you. Don't want to spoil myself, so I am passing on the stream, but wanted to drop some love cause you're awesome. Also, Jacob was tasty. Savage, dude. All right. Yeah, that ghost does sound obsessed. What kind of forge has no tools? That drill bit is dull as a hammer. Metalworking isn't easy, but this stuff is surprisingly shite. Can't be easy to maintain a camp with a bad blacksmith. Okay, so now we got to go ask around about the blacksmith. Lady, you got to know something. Damn it. <gasps> oh, damn. Forgive me. I ought to start. Oh, well. Ain't you a sight. Who are you, then? Red McCraith, ma'am, the banisher. To whom do I owe the pleasure? Oh, the Scotsman. I like your accent, and I like your manner, too. Nelly. Nelly Heaton. A friendly Londoner. I like her already. No, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully she didn't get too friendly, dude. The forge is empty. No tools. Any idea why? No tools? That's strange. Why would your husband take tools with him? Why would he take all the tools with him? I don't know. Hmm. Here's the thing. In your forge, I, I found a puddle of salt water. Any idea how it got there? Wait. You went into the forge without asking? The door was open. Also, there was a puddle on the floor, which turned out to be salty. Well, it's rude, but this time I'll let you off. The forge uses a lot of water, but that doesn't explain the salt. Could it be seawater? I suppose he could have hauled the water from the beach. Oh, she's acting kind of sus, chat. You know what I mean? So, what's the chatter? Bad news travels faster than good. What would you like to know? How's life about the place? We're doing our best to make things work. The beast is worrisome, tis true. But thick skin knows what's what. I'm sure we'll be fine. What think you of thick skin new Smith? She ain't perfect, that's for sure. But she's independent, fair minded, strong in body as in character. She cares for us. I know it in my heart, even if she doesn't show it. Why else would she shield us from the beast? What can you tell me of Kate Newsmith? I like her. She's different from her sister. Sensible. Watchful. When she speaks, I listen. Hmm. Let's trade, Mrs. Eaton. All right, let's. Let's see what she has. Um, 
Whoa. Marauder armor. Damage taken is reduced up to 30% the higher the health gauge. It's 800 coin. I ain't got that, though. That's expensive, chat. Yeah, we'll have to save up for something like that. Let's ask about her husband. To the point, madam. Kate Newsmith worries for you and for your husband, too. He around? Fortune left some hours ago and hasn't come back. I confess I'm beginning to worry. What if the beast got him? Did he not say where he was going? Thick skin has him making nails for the stockade. That's she mommy. presses him and he feels the weight of it. Did you fight? Did you fight? We're best friends. We don't fight. He's a good man. He never lies. He'll put you at your ease, and before you know it, you're laughing. He is also devout. Almost forgot. It wasn't always so. Coming to New Eden saved us. It saved the marriage. I should go look for your husband. He's no woodsman, so he can't have gone far. Please, do find him. I didn't come this far only to lose him now. Can I have a look around your house? Yes, if it helps. All right, guys. So we got to make sure that somehow the husband survives. I'll feel bad if he dies by my hand Thank in you some way, time, shape, or form. Welcome. I've enjoyed our chat. It's nice to have someone new to talk with. Okay. So we got to search around the house. See if we can uh, find some kind of clues. So the question is, is he haunted or possessed? Obviously, I, I think he's probably just super haunted. So he's actually a pretty good blacksmith. So something's definitely going on with them. I have a feeling about the bed. A ghost left a blurred fragment of its memory. Hmm. Here we go. Let's see what's going on here. I found a friend, a dear, dear friend, a good man who has sinned at times, wishing no harm to anyone. He speaks to me with respect. He's kind. This, I think, is the greatest. Hmm. So is this man he meant actually a ghost? We'll see. Okay, so there's an echo here. Here and now, I lift the curtain. That's his fucking wife? No. no. No, not yours. The ghost wants him and only him trying That's to get no rid of ghost threatening many. That's Plus one character there. in the tutorial handle my first play. Earl, he was fighting dead. the urge to hurt her. So, hey. the blacksmith has gone missing with his tools. And a saltwater ghost haunts the forge. Let's go find it. Hmm. Hey, Capone, it happens, man. It happens, though, dude.
I've lost survivors like me. I've I've I've, pers I've lost survivors within the first you know 30 seconds of, of starting a lethal game. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Yep, we got foot. We got foot tracks things. here. Tackety boots with hobnailed soles. They're stained. I think I can uncover the traces. Let's see if the trail leads to our blacksmith. A moment. Well, that's handy. Imagine all those years hunting ghosts, how much time we could have saved. Come on, let's go find our blacksmith. So she can do all the tracking. Got some loot over here. Some more pieces of eight. Okay, so we gotta go up this way. So swing around and see if there's anything up here. Oh no! Thank you, thank you. Nothing up there. Yep. See, he did a good job, Chad. He didn't bash his wife's brains in when he was possessed or under the influence of ghost. So we got to do what we can to save him, Jay. He did the right thing. Well, think of the blacksmith and his wife. A ghost haunts Fortune Heaton and his smithy too. Aye, but whose? How the leaves change color. Right, is there a little hunter camp or something up here? I want to check. Is that thing healing him? There we go. I forgot. I forgot with the dodge button and the block one. I forgot how to play pretty much. Uh, that was messy as hell.
Lost my trail there, this. Something's concealed. There it is. Back over that way. Whoop, I did not mean to use that. Oh, shit. God damn it! I was using my. Do we gotta find another way around, guys? No, I'm tripping. The footsteps didn't even come this way. Look at me. Wolves. My wolf kills on one hand. Come out. The safe. Uh, are, they, are they gone? Save this ass. I thank you, whoever you may be, for whatever you have done. I thank you. I thought I was done for. Fortune Heaton, sir, and so very pleased that you came along. Red McCraith, the banisher. Weren't there two of you? There were, yes. As it happens, I've been looking for you. You have? Uh, what for? So, you're the blacksmith. What's that like, then? Uh, it's all right, I suppose. You busy? Yes, of course I am. <laughs> Lots of building work to be done. That means nails, whole lot of nails, like an ocean of stupid bloody nails. I love when a man takes pride in his work. How are things with Nelly? Good, yeah, good. It's, uh, nice having a wife, a home. Nelly is uh, a fine woman, clever, brave, generous, and kind. She's a blessing. How did you meet? Me? 
how did we meet? Well, you know, we just uh, met. Does he not remember? Or does he not want to say? Come now, Mr. Heaton. No need to be embarrassed. We bit of romance is good for a man. Romance? It's not. I... Uh, I helped her with a thing. She helped me with a thing. We stayed together, helping each other with things. Doing right by one another can bring a couple together. Doesn't always need romance. What are you doing out here anyway? Do you not fear the prowling beast? Oh, I needed a walk, a bit of fresh air, a bit of light. Forge is... well, it's dark and hot, isn't it? I didn't mean to be a worry. We all enjoy walking the woods while burdened down with smithing tools. Why did you bring your tools? Yeah, why did I bring my tools? Why? Uh, why? Because... Because they're wanted. Yeah. That's why. He's just straight Sorry, up. Just, I'm losing my tiny little mind. And it's them godforsaken tools that's to blame. I start working with them. And then I look up, and half the day's gone, and I am somewhere else entirely, and that's not even the worst of it. When I return to the forge, the work is done. The tools are haunted, and I'm getting rid of them, as deep in the woods as I can go. Did the tools tell you to kill your wife? Jay with the eight months, thank you so much. Leave the dogs alone. Hey, man, they came at me. I defended myself, all right? AJ with the six, man, thank you so much. Uh, how things, uh, looking at a new game. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm loving this one, AJ. A lot, man. Um. Did the haunted tools tell you to kill your wife? No. Yes. Maybe, no. I, I would never hurt her. Yes, they told me to hurt her. Maybe. Maybe I'd have hurt her. Can you help us? Yes, I can help. I heard you praying. I thought I recognized the text. You did? You sure? Nelly painted him a pious Puritan. Aye. Thought he sounded Catholic. Oh, well, just coincidence? <sighs> Look, here's the truth. I'm a convert. I did it for Nelly. I am. Was. Catholic. It was a convenience more than a calling. Keep it yourself, please. I need to fit in around here. Not my business. I won't tell us all. <sighs> Thank you. That's twice I owe you. Head for camp. I'll take a look at the tools. Once they're safe, I'll follow. Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. Thank you, Banisher. I'll... <sighs> Thank you. Okay. Since the ripple of a past conversation. I feel like that dude might be lying to us, chat. Mine! Mine! Mine, oh mine. The ghost lays claim to the forge and everything in it. The flatter from the echo is missing from the toolbox. If it's not around here somewhere, he lied to us. Let's see where the back door leads. Yeah, he's definitely lying to us, man. Spectral.
natural stains, heading deeper into the woods. Problem is, we let him oh, loose, so man. There's a blacksmith's flatter at the end of the trail. We let him. We let him back to. What if he hurts his wife, man? We should have kept him here until we figured out what the hell was going on. Fortune the blacksmith came deep into the dangerous woods. He's no blacksmith. He's lying. We sent him home. I hope he's no danger to Nelly. That's what I'm thinking. That's why his blacksmith work is such crap, Chad. I don't think he's a real blacksmith. Something's going on here. He's not religious. He's... Lied about being a blacksmith, lied about being... Yeah, something's going on here. I'm gonna kill him. Yeah, it's another alpha. Who's that? Yes. Something's here. Game had bosses. Oh yeah, yeah. We fought that first boss that you've seen in the thumbnail. Uh, we fought her early on. That was that was crazy fun. But I don't know about other bosses yet. We haven't seen any yet. Teleport over here somewhere. The hammer. Looks like Fortune tried to get rid of it. The hammer is the ghost tie. Now to retrieve it without breaking my neck. Yes. That would be a shame. We need to look for somewhere to cross. Too bad she couldn't just pick it up for us, right? 
Uh, Jay, there's ads because of uh, YouTube's changes to live content. Okay, I think we're going to teleport up here. Maybe we'll be able to get a good angle. Snow's back already. Uh, All good things must come to an end, right? I sense a trap. I sense an echo. All right then. Let's trigger the trap. Where? I think they're talking down low here. I wonder if that guy set us up. No, cause he, no way. He wouldn't. He didn't even know we were coming. Right. Business. Banish. Peter. Hold on one sec, guys. My headphones are acting stupid. <clears throat> did I get him in one hit? I think I did. Okay, so now he's possessed. Call on me. Ever get the SOD2's headphones? Nah, I don't even know who won them. Whoever won them, nope, they didn't know me. Cause I feel like if one of you guys did win them, somebody would have said something and rubbed it in for sure. Hmm. Nope. We don't have enough hockey. Only the real ones in chat know what hockey is. Alright, let's get the hammer. We should be okay now. There she 
enough, Nelly. I warned you. I warned you this would happen again. No. Oh, look at yourself. You're pathetic. I want a divorce. <laughs> You're no Elizabeth Luxford. You are mine. And I'd sooner see you dead and cold than let you leave. What's going on here? Walk away, lad. This does not concern you. I think it does. Oh, wait, that wasn't fortune. I thought that was fortune. What do you want to do? Damn. Damn. So it was her, chat. It was her. It wasn't even, it wasn't even fortune. It was her. She killed her abusive ex-husband with the fucking hammer. And now it's haunted. Yeah, I did not see that coming. Did not see that coming. How love birds killed a man with his own hammer. We should talk to his ghost. All right. Let's talk to him. Manifest. Hear my voice and show your face. Yeah, yes. I don't. If, if you guys are the, the thing is, is if there are ads on the stream, only I think ten percent of viewers should get it, and there should only be an ad every thirty minutes. So if you guys are seeing ads more than once every thirty minutes, I could not even tell you what this cause. That's that's not on my end. That's not on anything. Um, I have my ads set the the bare minimum. Um, just so my my streams don't get suppressed uh, for not having ads, but yeah, you shouldn't see and if you are seeing ads You shouldn't see more than one ad pack uh, Every 30 minutes and that's it <laughs> We are the banishes Antea Duarte and Red McGrath whose ghost are you? <laughs> Do we really have to listen to this bastard? Nothing good ever comes of talking to the dead. At times I'm tempted to agree. Who are you and what do you want with the blacksmith? <sighs> my forge. My wife. My name. He was the axe. All mine. The bastard stole them. So you're telling us our blacksmith's a fraud? Damn, dude. So he was the actual blacksmith. Okay. Yo, this little... Yo, I, yo, I love this game, man. This shit is fire, chat. You've been sowing madness in the mind of the man who replaced you. She can't escape me. Are you looking for revenge? I claim what's mine. She schemed it. He seized it. And I shall have it back. Mark with the gifted, thank you so much, man. That night, on deck, Nelly asked for a divorce. What happened then? We saw what happened. I want to hear him say it. What happened on the boat? Ungrateful. Scheming. Aaron. Oh. Watch it. Red, come on. Distempered. Feeble. A weak woman. Demanding care and giving none. I gave her a life and she stole mine. She had him kill me. That's not what I saw. 
Why are you here? I want what's mine. Stolen away. Pried from my grasp. I want my work. My name. My wife. Your wife is not your property. <laughs> she was no one! A drudge who fancied herself a herbalist. <laughs> I plucked her from the dirt. I made her. All right, no. I'll not entertain this man a moment longer. I wonder... I've had enough of this. Let's go. Now we know why Fortune Heaton died. You're the bastard, but murder is murder. Nelly and her fellow are haunted yet, and I'm concerned for their safety. Like, realistically, chat? Like, he was abusive, he was a piece of shit. But they straight fucking killed him. Um, let me see here. Yeah, this here. Damage taken is reduced by five. Damage dealt is increased by 40%. The lower the spirit gauge. Hmm. We can rock that. I just gotta remember to lower my spirit in order to really take advantage of it. Well, it seemed like this. a lot of this is on the wife. I don't know if she actually schemed it. Because the ghost said she was scheming it, which means she, like, she had a plan the whole time to kill him, which is obviously different than spur of the moment, heat of the moment. She trying to defend herself and, and kill them. Who's that? Yes. Something's here. All types of stuff like that right there that we can't do anything with yet. Oh, there's a shelter nearby. By reaching it, you may travel towards another shelter. To get to your destination faster. You can recognize shelters by the red flag and smoke in the entry. Okay. There was something over here, though, with the ghost. I wanted to see what it was. Oh, another one of those fissures. Spectres have gathered around. Why not force them to appear? We'll do it. We'll clear it.
Now step from the shadows. Look to me. Wasted that on him? Watch out. Spectre possession. Damn it. Missed that one. Standing by. Got it. Martin West, thank you so much for the membership. Welcome to the fam, man. Stop for a wee minute. This place will do. Could this be a treasure map? Looks like one. Maps don't necessarily lead to treasure. Aye, but what if this one does? Very well. Let's look for this treasure that obviously awaits us. Let's see if we can get uh, our weapon upgraded or our stuff upgraded at all. So we can do the ring here. Increases our banish damage. So we still can't upgrade anything else, though, unfortunately. So what is this map here? A map of Ben and... Uh, let me see what it... Hmm. It looks like the town. It's on the riverbank in the town somewhere. 
We'll check it when we get back. Well, we can fast travel from here now back to town. All right, let me see. Fast travel. So we're up there, and we can just go, boom, back here. over here. It's got to be on this back side. This area is similar to the map's instructions. That's what I'm saying, man. Maybe down a little further. Well, this must be where the treasure is hidden. Yeah. Scourge of Krisha. I mean, I think that's a high tier upgrade uh, resource. We needed it for something. Yep. Yeah, so now we can upgrade our weapon. Yes, let's go do that. <clears throat> Or I can upgrade my armor. I'd rather do the swords, though. For me, damage is... Damage is king. I can see the ghost already in the black. I think Fortune's ghost is here. Let's end this now. Excited to go confront them, chat. What do you think she's gonna try to say? She's probably I guarantee watch her try to blame it on him. I, I just got a feeling she's gonna try to blame it on him. Here we go. We're gonna confront uh, the wife first. You should have said something. I was afraid to worry you. No secrets, we said. We did. Because this only works if we're together. Right. Together. Do you think the banisher knows? Yes. No. Though I'd not swear on it. He's no fool. I am no Puritan. He must know that at least. Hush! Someone's coming. Banisher! You're back! Here we go, chat. Mr. McCray, my man came back and I hear I've you to thank for it. Don't celebrate just yet. I know the truth. Your secret is out. I don't know who you are, sir, but you're not Fortune Eaton. Don't be daft. Haskell hired the Puritan master blacksmith, Fortune Heaton. 
You're none of those things. You're not him. What do you want? I'd like your side of the story, madam. Very well. What? No! How do we know we can trust him? We don't. But we must take the chance. It's time. When you demanded a divorce, your husband threatened you. Was that the first time? It was the first time I'd asked for a divorce. It was not the first time he had raised his hands to me. I loved my husband once. <laughs> I thought he understood me. But Fortune was an angry man. He was angry, and I was in his line of sight. No matter who or what had upset him, the full force of his anger would fall on me. <laughs> Always on me. Hear that? How did you two meet? <laughs> Funny story. Best you tell it, Nelly. On the crossing, Fortune was sick. He stayed below deck. When the weather allowed, I would take the air. One night, a voice came from the shadows. I should have run. But something in his tone told me he was kind. I was right. He is as kind as kind can be. We became friends. Dearest friends. Companionship on the companion way. How very charming. On the crossing from England, something happened. What was it? I'd had peace and quiet for weeks since we'd been aboard. Fortune was too sick to do anything. I even made a friend. I thought to myself, maybe, maybe this new beginning will be good for us. Maybe you'll change. Before we left, I'd sworn he'd never lift a hand to me again. Well, guess what? We didn't plan on killing him. I swear on it. Do you regret it? Do you regret any of it? What would be the point? And if I did, what would be the point of telling you about it? I'd have escaped him in the end, but I'd have had to die to do it. I only killed him so he wouldn't kill me. The blame is on him, sir, not me. You're not Fortune Heaton. So, who are you? I am. <laughs> to hell with it. You're right, I'm no blacksmith. I, sir, am the fugitive thief Arthur Carty. But a good man. A repentant, hard-working man. If I am those things, it's because you've shown me it's all right. I'm doing my best to make a better life. Really, I am. What were you running from? Just the legal consequences of my illegal life. You sent me to find your husband, Mrs. Heaton. Find him I did. Your husband's corpse rots on the ocean floor, and his ghost has followed you here. I ripped myself of him once. What shall it take to do it a second time? So let's be real chat. Do you guys think he would have actually killed her eventually? Was it do you guys think it was actually him or her? So I'm saying everything. I'm like, if it really did come down to like, she was like, listen, I killed him because eventually it was going to be me or him. Man, 
Man, yo, they really put you in some fucking spots, dude. But they did murder him, you know what I mean? Alright, 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 alright! Fortune Heaton. Dead as alive, you're an angry man. Time to go. I made her. She is mine. I built it all, and they took it from me. And now your work and your name shall pass to Arthur Carty while you enter oblivion. That's cool. Nelly will run the forge, and a better version of Fortune Heaton will walk the world. I am Fortune Heaton. Ever was, and ever will be. Not anymore. Be gone. Life to the living, death to the dead. Is it over? Is it done? Aye. He's gone. What will you tell the others? Will you expose us? Will I spill your secret to the camp? No, I won't. If you ascend them, it's kind of like the nice way to, to send them on. You know what I mean? Banishing them is like, this is an evil ghost. You're going... You're going down. But damn. Did that still... That felt bad, Chad. I don't know why. Yo, I felt bad, dude. Like, even though he was evil, he was bad. I'm like, yo, maybe I should have just ascended my gut. Maybe I should have ascended him, dude. Well, that's that. That was dope, guys. That was really cool, man. All right, we got another uh, haunting over here. Yo, could you imagine killing one of the people, dude? Oh, my God. Like, yo, there's, there's, a, there's, there's a bit of replayability in this, too, because, like... It's kind of like I want to go back and see what happens if I kill one of the humans, you know, like What is the other one gonna say? What is the ghost gonna do? Like Kind of makes me want to see it This house here, look how stained it is I wonder who's home Okay, we got another haunting here Oh, they're inside Anyone home? It's empty. Somebody said that there's like five different endings to the game or something like that. There's a bunch of different endings. Okay, hold on. So this is kind of where I found that treasure, right? I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a tree circled here. So we'll walk that and go check that area. Maybe there's something over there. Three oaks, it says. Could be where our householder's gone. If they have, they've forgotten their map. Someone left in a hurry. Off hunting for flavor for the stew, I hope. More leather.
our prudent sake lives here. She writes well. And she also seems to be out of her mind. <laughs> Who goes into the wilderness to write letters? I want to know where she learned to write so well. She's possessed by uh, an intellectual. There it is. Something's pulsing here. Let me try something. This is unexpected. Is this what? house haunted by calculus? Someone scrubbed the walls. Mrs. Hake must have seen the numbers. I didn't much like them. As a cook, this Prudence Hake makes an excellent letter writer. She's resourceful. That's interesting. Let's go find these oak trees and this haunted, well-lettered cook. Okay, so I believe it's the water's this way. And the three oaks were down this way, right? Yeah, it's over this way. I mean, it's marked on the map, so it's not like we gotta find it like the treasure map. The map points us west. So you want a map? Do you wish to sail the seas, or perhaps to know which way is Boston? Or do you wish to travel west and claim more land that is not yours? I just want to walk in the woods without getting lost. She Native American? I will American? teach you to draw your map. So, mark the camp as your starting point. Trace the path along it. Note each landmark. By journey's end, you have a map. But beware, you must know where is north. The sun rises in the east, journeys south, and sets in the west. See? This is mass, we ain't seen the sun in a long time, Mistress Jane. Then, my friend, you shall need a compass too. You can pay me for that later, when you're back from your walk in the woods. You're a fucking idiot, dude. Hey! I don't know you. Red McRae, here by Kate Newsmith's invitation. A pleasure. Ah, he who swung from the tree. News travels fast. Thank you. What's your name? You may call me Jane. We should have talked to the other dude, man. Before... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll leave you. Thank you for your we'll time. Come back. We'll come back to her. Wait. Prudence is my friend. If she is in trouble, I want to know it. No trouble, exactly. Kate's just worried about the food. Help Prudence if she needs it. If you can. I want to see if we can talk to this dude before he fucking leaves. Hey, wait, you fucking idiot. Come back. <laughs> Where are you going, dude? Who might you be? Credence Scudder, sir. At your service, sir. And who are you? Your lordship? I'm the banisher, Red McCraith. And while I welcome your civility, you may call me Red. A banisher? Have you come to save us from the beast? I'll try my best, son. Good. Good. Though, truth be told, you'll probably die. 
Well, really? Many fled New Eden because of the curse. Why did you stay? Me? Oh, I don't know. I stayed because Cousin Beloved said so, I suppose. I always do what Beloved says. Things go better for me. He's sweet and lucky to have someone to take care of him. You're a man of loyalty. You must believe in your community very much. Do you mean people? Yeah. I love people. Really love them. Without people, oh, I'd be alone. When things are bad, best stick close to them you know, don't you think? How are things going around here, Credence? We're all cold and hungry and afeard. We left New Eden so's we would live. But death's been at our doorstep every minute since. What can you tell me of thick-skinned Newsmith? Oh, she's very brave, sir. A fine leader. She scares me. What do you think of Kate? I don't know. She's not very nice. Beloved knows her better than me. How are people holding up? We upped and left without knowing if we'd make it. Now we're lost and hungry and stuck here in the woods. We're afraid, sir. We're all very afraid. A yes, good day to you, sir. God grant you the same, weird. sir. Okay, so that other lady, she wanted to know about prudence. Where the fuck did she go? Goddamn NPCs actually roaming around doing shit. Just be normal, f terrible NPCs and just stand in one spot. You in here, lady? God damn it. Fucking hate video game ingenuity, chat. Like, always gotta make shit hard on. Couldn't just have her standing around. Oh, there she is. Okay, we found her. Jane. Banisher. Are you friends with Kate Newsmith? If I was, why would I tell you? Goddamn. I get the impression you're not one for small talk. No, I am not. Oh. You're the first true local I've met. Where are the others? Here there is no local tribe. Huh. Why is that? The Abanaki left these lands many generations ago. They believe the ground cursed, bringing bad luck upon all who walked it. Ah, so you're not from around here either? No. And yet, I'm less of a foreigner than any of you. Is the widow hate doing better? How's the food? It's steak for supper. <laughs> I jest. It's soup. And I'm sure Prudence in her kitchen interests you not. On the contrary. But she's not in her kitchen. She's not at home at all. She likes to wander in the woods. These people are all idiots, man. Like, what the fuck is <laughs> There's a beast in the woods, ghosts all over the place, wolves. Shit, that was. Hey, let me go walk around the woods. Oh, is she? Has she seemed herself lately? She had a toothache. I gave her gallnuts to ease the pain. From losing her husband? Prudence lost her husband many moons ago. Her grief is healed, her teeth still hurt. Prudence is well lettered. Where was she educated? She never said. She likes stories. When I speak of the war, she writes it down. Which war? Take your pick. 
Well, she's not a nice person, dude. Whatever, go, go talk to yourself then, you. lady. Thank you for your time. Wait. Prudence is my friend. If she is in trouble, I want to know it. No trouble, exactly. Kate's just worried about the food. Help Prudence if she needs it. If you can. Yeah, Kate said that Prudence's cooking has slipped quite a bit, so... Something's going on with her. This way. Spectres and wolves. Wolves. Down, boy. So that hockey chat, mad hockey. Woman? Yeah. Aye. And she's taking no shine. Well, she is French. Look at all that up there on that tree. Madam, I mean you no harm. We didn't steal the fuck out. Come no closer. Who are you? Why do you follow me? Red McCraith, at your service. The banisher who lived. <laughs> For what little good it brought. Are you Prudence Hake? What do you want? She's skittish. Why? What are you doing out here in the woods? I have an engagement with the Queen of Spain. What does it look like I'm doing? You've seen the camp. We are starving. A day without bread is long, and acorns make a good enough flour. Yeah, well, why are you sitting here yelling at yourself in French? I was sorry to hear of your husband's death. My Thomas was a happy man, whatever you may have heard. You've hit a sore spot. Press hard upon it. Who were you talking to just now? What do you mean? Just now. Your voice was raised. You were speaking French. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Really? Don't pretend. I know French when I hear it. I've no idea what you mean. I'm from Kent, by way of Wales. You won't get her to say it, but Prudence Hake is secretly French. May I go now, Scotsman? I'll be plain, Mrs. Hake. I believe you need my help. I did not say I was Prudence Hake. She's stubborn. I like that. I've seen the writing on your walls. You're haunted, are you not? 
I've had strange visitors, it's true. You, for example. Stay out of my house. I'm going home now. I mean it. Stay out. She denies what's happening to her. We'll need proof. More numbers. They look new. How am I supposed to help somebody like this, Jeff? She doesn't want fucking help. Yet more numbers. Let's follow the trail. She might be the first person we need. Well, we can't sacrifice the camp cook, right? Mrs. Hake seems suspicious to me. She was as suspicious of you as you are of her. What's a French woman doing here in New England in times of war? Hiding the fact that she's French, evidently. Something's here. Hidden. Did we miss a few? Numbers. We're on the right track. You be ass lady coming back here, dude. Godless, faithless. Oh, it doesn't like us snooping. Is her boo? The whole alphabet? That's a lot. What is that? This is a cipher. Has Prudence Hake been sending encrypted messages? She reports the destruction of food rations arriving by sea in New Eden. That explains the burnt docks when we arrived. Is she a French spy? No. More stains. Keep digging. Chat, yeah, what if she's a French, a French, a French spy? A French. That's what happens when you combine a, a French and a spy. So, Prudence is a French spy, and a saboteur, too. See, but yeah. why would the ghost use her cipher? Well, maybe the ghost is a spy, too. Now it all makes sense. She's getting killed, chat. She might be our first snack.
These are not threats. Corpses. We could manifest what hides here. Why the fuck would we do that? and turn up. Oh, shit. Almost there. This isn't over yet. Watch out. Spectre possession. I can help. There it is. There it is, baby. More messages. A strong memory clings to this place. Don't tell me she. Thomas? You know I'll always love you, right? Yeah, did, he... did he find out that she was a spy? Yo. When we find out she killed him, chat, I'm doing her in. And then his ghost is haunting her. John. The closer you get, the more aggressive it becomes. Thomas found her Huguenot seal. I don't think he knew she was a French Protestant. He lied to him. He never knew the real her. Maybe he did, and that's what killed him. We should try to talk to him. He keeps fucking running away, dude. They're warnings. Or cries for help. We're gonna have to turn her into a snack, chat. We're gonna... We're going to have to turn her into Sprench Toast. <laughs> How do I do it, dude? How do I do it, dude? Oh, man.
死んでる Is this though? The tracker? Strain wooden figurine found near the cursed chest in the whispering trees. What if we use this to summon something? Bedwin, what's going on? How you doing? I don't see any numbers, so I think maybe up that way. This looks like, yeah, we haven't got the ability to break this yet. Or maybe that, yeah, I think this is where we have to go. Damn. I see running. So Wait, we wish only to talk. Yo, this guy's got some juice. They never learn, do they? Troubles about You're wasting your time on this one. Not hard enough. Why is he coming at us so hard right now? Bobby, what's going on? That guy was going really, really hard on us. Yeah, it looks like he went down that way. Uh, nice, we got a... Uh, Another shelter over here we can get unlock real quick. Well, oh, Edwin, you're you're already subscribed to the channel. If you're talking in chat, that means you're subscribed already, man. This would do nicely if I wanted to put my legs up. Second. Oh, did I just unlock a new weapon? We'll check it. We'll check it. Uh, let me get over here. He doesn't want to hear the truth. I, I can feel it. Yeah. He, that or he doesn't want us to find out. He's still trying to protect her even, even in death. He doesn't want us to know. Well, I got a... Defeating an enemy with a punch uh, attack triggers an area effect dealing spectral damage. Defeating an enemy with a punch refills the banish gauge by 20%. Holy crap. Each enemy hit by a punch increases the damage of punch attacks by 7%. This effect can stack pretty much. Uh, resets after switch. Using a leap while the banish gauge is full increases the leap damage by 500% but consumes all banish damage. Oh. 
grab that, and then I'll get this. Vitality, 22. So what's the difference on these? Minus the way they look. These ones are upgraded already, so... So we can... Uh, man, I'm kind of like... Yeah, we'll go. I was kind of like standoffish on like upgrading stuff just because it seems like we are starting to find some gear, but it's all good. And when with the membership, man. Oh, you're talking. Oh, you're talking about the membership. Well, thank you so much for becoming a channel member, man. I really appreciate that. Welcome to the family. That is so kind of you, man. Doing a little bit of extra exploration here. We just found a nice little chest. Witch stones, spectral dust. I still don't know what the witch stones are for. We gotta go find out what's going on with these, uh... The Sprench Spy. Is it just me, you? I felt it, too. Here it is. Look at you, unloved and godless, silent, worthless, blood-guilty, fool, forever, never-ending, mercy by my loving kindness. No, I cannot. <laughs> I will not! Prudence! Forgive me! Thomas? Thomas! My God, no! What have you done? Stay! Please! Stay! Okay. See, man, I thought I had it figured out, chat. I thought I had it figured out, dude. Now I don't know what's happening. He took his own life. His were no ordinary nightmares. He died a gruesome death. No wonder he's still here. He is here. Yeah. I thought we figured it out, Chet. I thought she was a spy. He found out she killed him. No, nope. now how are we gonna snack on our sprints toast now, dude? She probably leave us be. Red McCraith, sir. I'm trying to help your wife, Prudence. Whisper not to me, you devil. Must we do this every single time? You take the lead then. All right, let's banish it. Be gone, devil! You'll not have her! When did the nightmares begin? No beginning, never ending. 
Let the whispers end forever. Let the whispers end. Let them end. Was there a face behind the voice? Or a dark figure floating over you, perhaps? Draining your life away? No, no, not but what we are. The creatures we all truly are buried in the darkness. Did you take a sleeping draught? A remedy, perhaps? Did Prudence give you something? Give? She gave me everything. I kept it. And I gave it back. Why the coded messages? What were you trying to say? The Devil's Whispers will come back. Forever she must flee. She must flee! Why would the whispers come for her too, Thomas? What aren't you telling us? Why are you here? Why aren't you running? Why isn't Prudence gone already? She'll listen if she hears it straight from you. Spoken plainly, mind you. No, no, not I. Not like this. Prudence is not who you thought she is, and yet you kept her secret. I know her. I love her. Even after she betrayed the colony, even knowing she lied to you. Perfect love cast death out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. I promised to love her. A promise should be kept. You're killing her, Thomas. No. No, you're wrong! You're leeching the essence from her. She'll go insane, then she'll die. She needs me! She needs me! She needs me! He protects her. He just wants to keep her safe. So we banish him. Then she'll be safe. Whatever we do, Prudence has the right to know what's happening. We should tell her. Stay here. Maybe we can help. What are you doing here? Who exactly God were you damn, let him push the fuck out of me. Who? Me? Just now you were talking to someone. Who was it? That's ridiculous. I'm alone here. Oh, how's it feel, Prudence? Getting half-ass answers. Don't play with me, Banisher. Now tell me the truth. At the Siege of Vienna, we hanged wreckers. Mess with our grub, we'd gut you first. Aye. I found your secret code. You. You left those messages. What do you want? Not I. A ghost. And I'd like to know why. I don't know what trick you're playing here, but I don't like it. I'm leaving. Don't get in my way, Scotsman. Wherever you go, your ghost will follow. Leave me be. She's a tough nut. She won't crack until she has no other choice. I'm sorry, I must press you further on your husband. Thomas had bad dreams, did he not? I do not wish to talk about it. And I'm very good at not talking about things. He died a horrible death by all accounts. Forgive me, but that pain, that fear, it must linger. Of course it lingers. I loved him and he died. He's gone and I remain. Clarity can be painful. We resist it. Lay it out plain for her. I understand he suffered from terrible nightmares. Did you seek help? A physician, perhaps? Of course we did. Nobody helped. Nobody could help. 
Perhaps you wished for a banisher. Perhaps. But if wishes were horses, beggars would ride. I can tell you the truth, but can you accept it? You rarely sleep. You wake exhausted. You feel drained, but blame it on the grief of your loss and the fear of your exposure. What do you know of me and my life? I know you're a spy. And I know your husband loved you very much. He found your cipher. His ghost writes upon your walls. There is no ghost here. What are you up to? I'm doing my job. Nothing more. Your husband haunts you. I'm here to help you both. He thought I was a threat to you. He tried to chase me away. He loves you very much. Which is why he won't leave you alone. Is he here? Is, is Thomas here? He is. He wants you away from New Eden. Away from danger. I miss him. Every day. I know you do. She's a spy, Chess. She sabotaged the whole fucking town, dude. We, we can't... We can't... Prudence, Thomas, it's time. Is it our business, chat? Is it our business to get involved? She loves, she did nothing wrong. She, she's a saboteur. I mean, my thing, chat, is, I mean, my goal is to just help out people around the town. You know what I mean? But Oh, hold on, hold on. Return to haunt her and urge her to leave New England. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's a fucking spy, dude. It is what it is, chat. You work for the church, not the military. Nah, chat, she's got to go. She's got to go. She's got to go. She caused pain to too many people, man. It is what it is, chat. Thomas wishes you to live true. Far from New Eden, far from the English. After he died, he stuck around trying to get you to change your ways. But you did not listen. I did what I had to do. They may call it treason. I call it loyalty. Then I hope you understand what I must now do.
jouons tous un rôle, mais tiens, commissaire, et de loin le plus perdu. How are we gonna explain this one, chat? <laughs> we did what we had to do, all right? We did what we had to do. That was tough. I'd like to think I'd have done no different. As long as I draw breath. I'll do all I can to protect you. As long as you draw breath. That was a rough one, guys. The third attack. Let's head back to town. We didn't step into the dark side, guys. She, we, she was bad. We did what we had to do. Hope, I don't know if we'll get to explain it to Kate. I don't know if, there, if she's even going to ask... That's the thing is, I don't know how decisions like that affect like the, the game. Like, I don't know if there's going to be a dialogue option. Like, oh, what happened to What's-Her-Face? And I'm like, yeah, I fucking, she was a spy, so I, I sucked her soul out. Like, <laughs> like, how do you, how do you? We'll see. Roach, finally. So? I've done my rounds, as you asked. And? I found two hauntings in camp. Fixed them both. Two? Really? There are likely more, but those two at least are ended. All right. So, I'll thank you kindly, Mr. McWraith. You've done your part and earned your place. My sister should soon return. She'll surely want to meet you. Until then, you may stay. All right, hold on. Before we do this, guys, give me one sec. I just gotta go grab water. Chat, I don't know about you guys, right? I don't know about you guys, but I'm really enjoying this game. Like, out of nowhere, too. Like, I didn't even expect much. I, like, literally did not expect anything from this game. I thought it was going to be, like, an Inquisitor, like, the Inquisitor type of game. Like, indie developers, low budget. I, I really, and, you know, this game is fucking fire. It's probably one of the best games I've played in, like, a while. Yeah, this is definitely one of the best games I've played in a very long while. I'll take my leave. I do. All right. Rest and wait for Thick Skin to return. I still can't believe her name is Thick Skin. There was no more... Got the two shops. 
We're good. I mean, technically, so this game is uh, like semi open world. Like right now, I could go rest, but if you wanted to, you could go just like venture around, like check these POIs and stuff like that. Um, I don't have the way to traverse up this yet. Um, so that's why we can't go to those POIs, but. So let's rest up. Kate came by. Thick skin is back and wants to see you. Why did she not wake me? Perhaps she resented playing the messenger. Perhaps she just wanted to make you late. She was vexed. Thick skin return has upset her. Kate reminds me of my sister. Aoife. Mm, Clan Macraith's little spitfire. Always at my heels. We're giving father's guards all kinds of hell. <laughs> she was a wee thing. But strong. And the big men in armor didn't they scare her. She had more brains than I, and more wild too. <laughs> In sparring, she'd beat me, Andy. She would have made a fine swordswoman, had she grown. I've never met my brother and sister. Wait, what? Twins. By my mother's letters, they must be eight years old. You never told me this. You never asked. What are their names? <sighs> what? I'm interested, that's all. You're bothersome. Ayomi Day is my sister. Temi is my brother. I had no idea. You got letters from home. My mother writes once a year. The letters take months to find me, if they find me at all. Until now, I've given it little thought. Three Duarte children walk the world. God help us. Good boy. Now that you can count to three, we can move on to four. I hope the twins have more charm than you do. All right. I probably could have upgraded my ring, actually that we just got, or the brooch that we just got. Let me see if I can upgrade that real quick before we go. Yep, right here. Boom. That's all our upgrades. Let's go meet up with Thick Skin. Did I mention thick skin was waiting for you? All right, all right. I'm going. It doesn't get any easier to hear it every time they say it. It just sounds weirder and weirder. I can give no order, but you return from the hunt and countermand it. The order were wrong. You... 
Lo, the halfpenny redeemer come to save us. Thou may enter, O great saviour. What's wrong with her? I didn't even do anything, dude. Are her fingers wood? Excuse my sister. Underestimating her would be a mistake. She's tougher than you. You're alive. Long story short, you had an angry ghost in your meeting house. It was fierce. I fell in the sea. And Thea died. Your lost pains is, but a good hunter should know when they've become the hunted. Is there news from New Eden Town? When you went to the meeting house, I gathered me flock and left. I've heard nothing since. Your faith in us gladdens my heart. I wasn't wrong, was I? But folk here still believe in you. What became of those who stayed? Dead, or near it. I'm neither foolish enough nor mad enough to go find out. She thinks you a madman, or a fool. Maybe I'm both. Don't crow. Foolish madmen abound. What about the missing group of refugees? What about them? Kate told me they went missing before reaching your camp. Any chance they survived in the woods? Not the slightest. Otherwise, they would already be here. Those poor bastards are long dead. Where lies the future for you? For the camp? For the people here? The plan was to walk across the mountains, but the cold put an end to that. For now, we stay. Till the weather lifts. The weather and the fear. They must feel the sun on their faces again and courage in their hearts. Who would not wish to feel the sun upon their face once more? You didn't ask me here to watch you drink soup. What do you want? Kate says you have metal. I can use that. There's a service I need from you. You've something important needs doing and you want me to do it. No wonder your sister's fuming. Kate may wish her skin were thick as mine, but wishing will not make it true. It seems pretty tough to me. Her feelings fail her. She's much to learn. Speak frankly. What would you have me do? Banish a ghost that doesn't exist. Folk here believe in monsters. The fear makes them weak. Kill the beast. Kill their fear and give them back their strength. Fear can be good. We can't spare much, but you shall have a gun and powder and shot with it. All I can ever ask for, Chet. That's all I can ask for. Why wouldn't the beast be real? You know the curse is real. Why not the beast too? The beast is nothing much. A bear, perhaps a wolf. A monster only in the mind. Why not kill it yourself? Because when the banisher kills the beast, everyone here will believe the monster dead. Tis honest work. I presume you'll pay for it. I have the means to pay you. My word on it. Hmm. Like a fucking we'll witcher, see how dude. That goes. I'll hunt your beast, whatever it is. If you answer one last wee question, you may ask it. What's with the name? No one rightly calls their daughter 
thick skin. My birth name be best forgotten. Thick skin better suits the world. Fair enough. In the wild, we carry muskets. And we carry these. Whistle for help if the need be great. And the gun? My sister can spare her musket. If you can get it from her. You got two whole guns in the whole fucking town, dude? I got this shit feeling like the apocalypse, dude. Kate will be delighted. Kate will be hurt. I predict fireworks. You think Kate's feelings get in her way? Watch her reaction when you ask for the musket, then tell me I'm wrong. I think she'll give it to us no problem. <sighs> Never mind, she's gonna be pissed as fuck, dude. Like, we didn't even get over there yet. She, she... Yeah, that's the. <laughs> oh, she ain't gonna be happy, dude. Look, she's already re she's sharpening the spear as a replacement for her musket oh. that we're that we're about Don't to. Don't you have business elsewhere? God damn, she's mad. Go, save us all from the beast. Go do my sister's char work. I need a musket. Thick skin said I should have yours. You'll rot in hell first, and so will she. This should be good. Are you so desperate to prove her wrong that you forget your own interest? You can climb your sister's pedestal or stamp your feet like a child, but neither serves you. What do you know of sisters? Enough to wish I'd not lost mine. I can't leave camp unarmed. She traps me. There's pain behind the anger. I doubt you'll blunt her temper. Measure your worth by your own mark. Your sister's estimation shouldn't it matter. It matters. I do great work here, but my bull-headed sister won't see it. <sighs> Thick skin measures worth by metal. The strong will live and the weak will die. She chose you to hunt the beast with my musket. She doesn't have to say a word about what she thinks of me. She's probably just keeping you safe. I'll bring you back your gun. I swear on it. You won't make it to New Eden Town without a gun. And we both know it. I'm sorry. I wish there were another way. As do I, Scotsman. You may have the gun. Now be so kind as to leave me be. Yeah, okay. Got our first musket. The flint's a little tired, but she strikes fine. Unlike some, she won't go off half cocked. I'll take good care of her. And she of me, no doubt. We got our first rifle chat. She was not happy about that shit. Well, there we go. Let's go upgrade it. Kate gave it to us, but we're gonna we're gonna go make it better right off the bat. Oh yes. Oh yes. Okay, so yeah, we don't have the resources to enhance it again yet, but we're good. All right, let's go hunt us a beast. 
it's probably gonna be an actual bear. Watch. All right, let's see, which way do we gotta go? All right, out this way. So we go down past Kate. I guess this way, right? Yep. All right, let's do it. The more I know Thick Skin, the more I like her. Is it a kind and friendly nature? Some would call her ruthless. But is she wrong? Life could be cruel. Perhaps she's right to embrace the cruelty. Hey, bruv, I need to go out. I like how you stuck your... Oh, okay, never mind. Climbed down from your tree then, have you? Aye, with no help from you. What's your name, lad? Beloved Scudder, if you must know it. I see you found yourself a gun. Kate gave it to me. Oh man, got that 13 year old I'll beard. Check, you know. <laughs> he got the beard of. Nah, nah, all right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He got, he got a 16 year old's beard. How are things going? One nosy Scotsman the fewer, and I'd like it a sight better. May I pass? If Kate gave you her gun, I suppose you may pass. But I don't counsel it. Bad things happen in the woods. Only thick skin walks safely out there. You and Kate walk the woods yourselves, do you not? Sometimes, but it's no gift. Kate's quick-tempered when she's not closed off. They say her heart were broke once. It never mended. Thank you for your time, Scudder. Good day to you. See you again, McCraith. If you're lucky. Behind Kate the Spitfire stands Kate the Broken-Hearted Girl. Her defensiveness makes more sense now. Perhaps when this is over, she shall make peace with it. Doubt it. Target for your new toy. Ten guineas says you can't shoot us. You were lucky. I am lucky. I'm also a phenomenal marksman. Both of these things are true. Okay, reload time's not too atrocious. What about ammo? Is there an ammo limit? Find this beast. Well, not 
far from the missing circles, I'll wager. Kind of symbol here. That is quite the landslide. No way in or out. A mine, an old abandoned mine. How wonderful. And our only way through. Of course. Pretty sure there's spirits here. I'm gonna possess those corpses. Maybe. Yeah. Watch out. Spectre possession. Chip, how you doing? Bright Bunny, what's going on? How you doing? It's good to see you. So there's a chest in here. Totally worth coming down. I don't know if we'll be able to climb back up this way. It might be too high. We'll have to. Yeah, we gotta go back around. Those bullets made a. Yeah, I know. For us to be able to shoot specters, we got those. We got the rock salt shot like my like my man Sam and Dean. Not all heroes wear facial hair. <laughs> so I'll take it. Are these the dead settlers? Hmm. That beam is literally hanging up. Reload fast. Here comes trouble. Don't just stand there. Move. She did. Seen that bone warrior right there. Great. More fun. Don't let that specter get to the corpse. I think I heard the sound of a gun. Did we miss a few? Well, 
In we go then. How'd the Naruto? I had fun, man. I had fun. I mean, the stream didn't perform very well, but I still had fun playing it. I love these old underground places. I don't. Huska Castle nearly cost me an eye. <laughs> Investigating the cellar was your idea, remember? Daylight ahead. I'll take it. Let's go. Do you think this place is haunted? I'd almost welcome the distraction. It just looks like a mine to me. Why would it be haunted, per se? Unless the workers that worked here were... Ah. Seems to be stuck. Killed in uh, some kind of rope. Can we get an angle on it? Shite. Reinforcements. Good shot. Watch out. Sheen did it. You're within gun range, Red. Did that did that bone walker just have a gun? Chip with the super chat, man. Thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate that, brother. I think that was a gun he was ra raising up.
wonder if there was a teleport out here. Yep. Hmm. Uh, okay, okay, I think we had to get an angle over here on that beam up top there. Yep, right there. Okay, or not. So what the fuck was that first one that we just shot? Hmm, I see what we gotta do. I see, I see, I see. So this here, you just gotta use this as a climbing... ...majiggy. Like that. Still can't get an angle on that, though. Damn. Yeah, so there probably is ghosts here, guys. A lot of people die down here just on the job. This was before OSHA, and you guys know OSHA is, keeps everybody safe. can't telly because that damn logs in the way shouldn't we make for the daylight a shortcut.
Oh shit, there was a chest up there. I remember seeing it from the other side. You can't shoot the rope yet, yeah, you had to shoot the little, uh, coupling in order to drop it. Watch out. Spectre position. Have some of this! Watch out! I won't let you fall. Oh. Oh, I'm glad it's you throwing me around. Happy to be of service. Not enough hockey. Shanks could break that down, though. Chat, for those of you guys that know, all right? If you know, you know. There's going to be... I, I'd be surprised if it's anybody in chat. Do you guys think my man Whitebeard could beat this game? Like, like if Whitebeard was the main protagonist, do you think he would... you think he'd beat it? Strange tracks. Something passed this way. Something huge. <laughs> Whitebeard would make all the ghosts his sons. <laughs> Yo, I think Whitebeard would easy clap this this game, dude. Oh fuck, chat. Okay, this doesn't look like a, a wolf. Damn it. Hell, this is grim. The hunters became the prey. The bodies are uneaten. They weren't killed for their meat. Spectres did this. Their stains. Must you be to wipe out an entire pack of wolves? Very angry. What did these wolves do to deserve such malice? What do you mean? I've killed like 40 of them. They were trying to kill me. They were probably trying to kill somebody else.
Doors blocked on the other side. Gotta shoot maybe the lock off the top from the from up there. So what is what is this beast, dude? It forced its way through here, dug up all the wolves. And pluck them out. Come on, whatever this is, dude, it's toppling whole trees, man. I can't even break down a fucking gate. If the beast did this, then it must be bloody enormous. If the beast did this, then it must be corporeal. Yeah, I fought the corporal beast in RuneScape. If you know, you know. Even the youngling survived. What could have done this? Vengeance. Vengeance incarnate. Something getting revenge on the wolves, dude? A memory ripples here. You ready to find out what the hell's going on here, chat? Something had vengeance against all these dogs, and it wasn't or the wolves, and it wasn't me, chat. Out here killing the younglings. I would have never killed the younglings. This poor little dude, his little guts hanging out on the little ground and everything, dude. Savage. The settlers. Whatever butchered the wolves spoke as one with many voices. Any spirits and borrowed flesh. Could it be a scourge? Yes, a scourge. Powerful and very angry. So, you ready for this big brain moment right here, chap? What I'm thinking has happened is the group of settlers that were killed got killed by wolves. Mauled in the middle of the night wolves went tore them all apart killed them savagely, right? A lot of anger a lot of hate a lot of vengeance They all kind of those spirits bundled together made a scourge and went and got revenge on the wolves What the bloody hell? That was a little closer than I would have liked. That howl, like many souls screaming as one.
I thought scourges were rare. Have you ever faced one? Once. A trade ship into Bordeaux sank in a storm. The slaves came back as a scourge. To banish it, I made 50 pounds of Bane powder and shot it with a cannon. By then, it had killed the captain and half the crew and the ship's owner. Tragic, really. Yeah. Heading for that corpse. God damn it. Based. Try another one. I can help. Get rid of the other Spectre first. Fancy that, a body, and there are teeth marks. I feel something club. He's not letting me in dead get this way, is he? about to shoot. I'm right here. 
here. I can help. Get out of there. Oh, shit. Something close. The longer that is safer, you must take it. Why won't you come with us then? The quickest she'll go ahead. We'll wait with food and shelter ready, then we'll all travel on together. Nicholas here shall walk with you. There'd be no better shot among us. Do you agree, Doolan? I'll do my best for you, Samuel. Of course I will. But if Thickskin says we'll be safe, I believe it. In the wild, we carry these. Whistle for help if the need be great. She said the same thing to us. Someone is generous with her whistles. Much use they were to this poor bugger. If this Doolin fellow was meant to protect the missing group, I dread to think what became of them. It was wise to split the group. The larger the band, the slower it moves. It wasn't a cattle drive. They're talking about people. Thick skin was practical. She knew what she was doing. Aye, that much is clear. Or she was just using the other... The other group as a distraction. Someone was here, some time ago. Take heart, the camp lies close. Take heart indeed. Maybe they're still out there somewhere. Maybe. Kate? Charge my heal pots. <laughs> this is worse than a army grub. I'm not even hungry. That makes one of us. How is it? The hunger. It eats at me. Like a meal that does not fill you up. I... I never understood how you could eat in the mornings. I never understood how you could get about your day on an empty stomach. You sound like my mother. She'd sit me at the table until I'd finished my plate. I'd let the flies have it before I'd give in. Can I possibly imagine you being stubborn? 
That stubborn child is dead and gone. The adult me is going too. I don't think we have anything that we can upgrade, right? No. Papers. Half bond. You said right, Catherine. Vexes. You're moved. Somebody wrote this, like this Kate's journal. It says here that Kate loved a woman named Deborah. And let her die. The younger Newsmith has a low opinion of herself. Do you wish she'd made it home? You know, one last time. Home is the past. There's no home to go to. up around every corner. How so? My parents' house stood near the sugar mills before the fire took it. I've never seen the place they settled in next. They would have adored you, you know. I wish I'd had the chance to meet them. There was essence tied to the altar. I've consumed it all. That's great, I suppose. Are you all right? Yes. I feel invigorated. More tracks. Our quarry came this way. Did we miss a few? I think I heard the sound of a gun cocking. Oh shit. Die, you 
bastard. Snap out of it. Banish came in clutch right there. Of course the bridge is out. Couldn't have a working bridge now, could we? Glover, thank you so much for the membership. Welcome to the family. I really appreciate that, man. I, and I appreciate your service, too, brother. spot over here would I ever play destiny 2 yeah I actually own destiny 2 I wanted to play it at some point um obviously I don't know when we would play it but yeah it's definitely a game I'd play at some point look we're getting closer So those things we should have. they come back to bite? I'd almost feel sorry for these ones being caged. What are spirit snares doing out here? I believe we should come to terms with the fact that New Eden brims with demonologist craft. We've seen a couple of those around the map, um, back in other areas. Got a shortcut there now. Take on a goat! There's a body down on the bridge.
Perhaps the trail leads to the second room. There, got a key. For good or for ill, it must. Doug with the super chat, man. Love this game. Could wait, yo, man. I, I, I'm absolutely loving the hell out of this one too, man. Thank you for the love, the support, brother. How are you doing tonight? Ooh, some gunners battle gear. Dexterity rifle damage increase. Up to 50%. So this is like good for if you're Love shooting. This game. Couldn't wait for you to play it again. But we're not we're not really using a gun build right now, so hold off on that. Who knows, so fighting this beast, we might have to use the gun. And if that is the fact, then we'll just swap it. Right. What? The lost settlers. Or what the beast has left of them. Oh, God. They didn't stand the chance. There is no God here. Okay, so maybe I was wrong about the beast chat. Doug with another super chat, brother. I got you, dude. I'm trying. I don't know what the hell we're about to go up against, but... Sound comes from those spectral webs. Did you feel that? It's close. I am awesome now. Go get Embla. Please stop. Do you not like a tune? I liked it when you started it. With mud and rain and overuse, the liking has worn thin. Did you hear a growl? Probably your stomach, Clef. Maybe I wasn't wrong. There's a dead wolf here. From the second group. Let's hear what they have to say. Those poor people, they'd done nothing wrong. Even with a sharpshooter, their expedition was a gamble. Picking up some spectral nearby. And here I thought our love would always be. My dearest dear, how much you've wounded me. I hate you. Everything was against them. Even without the heavy weather, the wolves would have got them. Rain been walking two days under light rain. Feel like the air is getting heavier. Twist her ankle as a result. I carried her bag while well, another carried her. I hope we get. Damn. This group just had it bad, Jet. 
uh, if I played until dawn. So I didn't play until dawn myself, I don't think, Michael. Um, I thought I did. I guess the wifey played on the channel, but I played all the dark picture games on the channel. Those I did do. I thought I did play until dawn, though. I'm pretty sure I, I don't know. I'll have to go check. You didn't. If I did, there's a playlist. Ugh. I could eat an ox. We just broke bread, Emily. A crust of bread and rancid cheese makes not a meal, dear sister. Ho! Oh, Samuel! When's our next stop? Quit griping and push your cart along. We'll get there when we get there. Over here, something pulses. Whistle Thicket gave the second expedition similar to one given to Red. Iris, your father is hurt and can walk no further. We must rest and treat the wounded. We must find shelter. The cold night will kill us all. Fire will bring the wolves. And so does that accursed whistle. The wolves are already here! Where is Nicholas with the help from Thickskin's camp? Where's our deliverance? We'll sound the call once more. Thickskin will come! She swore on it! The whistles only bring the wolves upon us! What? Help will come! Help will come, I know it! Upon our souls. The huntress has killed us. Right in hell, thick skin news me. Right in hell. Watch out. Spectre position. Did we miss a few? That spectre is looking for a body. This is Thick Skin's doing. These people were defenseless. What? She lied to keep them safe. How can you defend this? I don't defend it. I do understand it. Thick skin, dude. But then she gave us the fucking whistle. What game is she you playing? That? It's close. Uh, an echo whispering to me.
<sighs> I'm sorry. Hi. Me too. Fucking thick skin, dude. What are we gonna do, chat? She's the reason for all of this, man. To save her own nicely. group, I guarantee. I put my she sacrificed this group. I'll let Thixon's sister be the fucking... Let Kate be the judge. I gotta start using those, um, switch it, perfect switches. So I think it's like I one, two, three, yeah. switch. Okay, yep. Then block, then block, switch. Yep, okay, got it. Well, we got the beast coming next, chat. We got the beast coming next, and we're gonna we're gonna save that for next episode. It's super super late. It's like eleven thirty at night. Um, man, am I freaking enjoying the hell out of this though? Like, enjoying the hell out of this, guys. Uh, no, this game's not early access. I believe it came out. When did this came out? Come out yesterday or today? I think it came out today. Something like that, I don't remember. This shit has been fire, though, guys. Absolutely loving this damn game. I'm having so much fun playing it. The story's awesome. It's just, it's been awesome. It's been a really, really good time. Nice change of pace. And, uh, but next episode, chat, we're gonna figure out what the hell we're gonna do with, uh, with Thick Skin. <laughs> well, we're gonna, we gotta figure out what the hell we're gonna do with him. 
All right. So, again, I want to thank you all for the love. The support means the world to me. Um, if you guys are enjoying this and you want to see more, all you got to do is smash that like button. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It helps out so much, guys. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a great, great rest of your night. I'm about to go get some good sleep. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be back at it tomorrow, guys, with some more streams. So, again, thank you all. You all have a great rest of your night, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.